What's up y'all, it's your boy Voro Army, and as I've seen from the latest poll results, you guys want to see me talk about Crisis on Two Earths, aka one of the best DC animated movies of all time, so I got you with this one right here. Crisis on Two Earths is such a great movie for so many reasons. The Justice League, and the fact that Wally West is the Flash in this movie and not Barry Allen. And of course, the crime syndicate, some twisted individuals they got on this roster. Looking at you, Owl Man, and also you, Superwoman. Anyways, without further ado, my Gs, let's get right on with the video. Get over here! The crime syndicate, aka the evil version of the Justice League, were busy ransacking the Hall of Justice for any useful items. As earlier in the story, they finished waxing the Jester, the heroic version of the Joker. Yeah, that's crazy, right? But hey, that's what makes the multiverse so fascinating. Superwoman, who's known for being a major baddie in this movie, like it's crazy, y'all, walks up to the diabolical individual, known as Owlman, to see what he's up to. People talk about Superwoman, all the time in this movie, but Owl Man needs to be discussed more too. The man was on that 24 Kendrick level of just not giving a damn at all in this movie. Superwoman wraps her arm around Owl Man as she's curious to see what he's up to. Owl Man tells his lady that Luther has found a way to not only prove that the multiverse exists, but also travel between them as well. Lex, my guy is too cunning in any universe. Superwoman acts as breakdance, the evil counterpart of Vibe, if his team has found a quantum trigger. But the little dude was like, nah. If the device was here, we would have already found it. Our man realizing the same thing orders Black Power, this world's Black Lightning, to download everything off Lex's computer. Also, can we talk about this man's sweet afro? Looking a lot like Black Lightning's debut look from 1977. By the way, the first black superhero from DC to have his own major series, you gotta love it. Our man also tells the rest of the crime syndicate to strip the place of anything valuable and then destroy it. Our man, as a fellow rich man, you should understand how twisted that is as a move. Black Power starts downloading Lex's data files like an anonymous hacker and from this man's face you know he enjoys his job now my g's this is where the situation really starts to get more interesting as a flash of light pun intended causes the villains look back like a deer in headlights to see who could possibly be stupid enough to appear right now lex appears with just league members superman wonder woman the flash wally west and the green lantern known as hal jordan and martian manhunter Y'all are probably wondering, where is Batman? And if put it shortly, the GOAT wanted to stay back on Earth 1 as he believed it shouldn't be up to him or his team to fix a situation that doesn't apply to them. Batman even went further by saying they got so many issues with their Earth and that they don't need to add another one to their plate. I understand Batman the way Superman on the other hand was like, nah, Bruce, there's millions of lives at stake. We gotta do what we gotta do at the Justice League. And so from there, we got to this amazing moment here. Lex and the League realized they might have come at the wrong time. Meanwhile, Superwoman was shocked out of her mind. Superwoman was so shocked, she had to pull out the signature, what the hell catchphrase. Like, that was so funny, man. Lex tells the League their plane was compromised and Owl Man, the evil genius, straight up told his girl Superwoman he doesn't have time to deal with these shenanigans and ordered her to take down the heroes. Superwoman activated her inner Jada Parker and flew up to the heroes. Lex seeing this tried blasting her with his signature beams but this proved to not work well for Lex as Superwoman dodged the beams like an elite gymnast and hits Lex with a freezer torpedo move. Lex crashes into the wall of his old headquarters and this lady just wants to end his life. Do you see how she's balling her fist? Superwoman punches Luther's armor in her face. Oh my god. When I tell y'all this lady is sick, I mean it. I already did a video on her and Batman months ago, but that might be the first video I redo on this channel because there's so much stuff I left out in that video. Superwoman tries to punch Lex again, but it's stopped by the GOAT superhero Superman. You just gotta love it when Superman pulls off a successful save. Superman tells Superwoman that'll be enough of her deranged actions and Superwoman, like a Gen Alpha kid, not wanting to stop her bad actions, proceeds to mink Superman in the face, making the GOAT fly away into the pavement. Yeah, she's gonna regret that. The battle goes to mayhem levels as both of their teams begin duking it out. I'm talking about in the same way as the traditional Survivor Series matchup. In this case, the 2008 Survivor Series. Superman was like, damn, I normally don't like hitting women, but this one is close to my overall and she's deranged like live wire. I gotta do something fast as the Man of Steel flew back towards Superwoman and you can see from Superwoman's face that she wasn't
wasn't expecting Supes to be back already from one of her punches, Superman minks Superwoman, causing her to crash through a pillar, Vegeta style, into another room, got put on her back like Zendaya, crazy work right there. Breakdance, the evil vibe, successfully performs a silent blast on Superman from behind, and hold up, is my guy dancing on the GOAT superhero? Look my guy, you are not him, you're a D-list villain, just like your heroic counterpart vibe. To all the CW fans of him, I'm sorry but it's the truth, bro is a background character to this day. Breakdance fires another blast at Superman, and oh no, when Superman is tanking a hit with his chest, just know you messed up. Supes is out here walking through the blast like he's OG Broly from Dragon Ball Z. Breakdance goofed so bad, Superman walks all the way through the blast until he's finally able to grab Breakdance, the Usopp grab technique. Yeah, homeboy's done. The glare by Superman just adds to how screwed Breakdance is right here. Superman lifts up Breakdance and tosses him away like a football into the wall, knocking him out instantly. The next sequence is wilder as Superwoman picks up a whole pillar and bonks Superman on his head. She really pulled out the Nami Arlong technique. Superwoman runs up on Clark and hopes of getting a combo string with her pillar but instead receives two minks and now from what y'all have seen, Superwoman is a very attractive woman, the kind that will have simps and twitch mods kneeling to her beauty so imagine how it must feel for her in this situation to be punched multiple times in her face, I know she was ready to crash out, flight reacts level crash out by the way, Superwoman punches Superman back and like I said it is just bottling up inside for her, Wally runs up and grabs Extruder Man aka the evil elongated man to take Take him for a ride, Dispo style. Nearby, Diana battles Sai, the evil version of Katana. She looks a lot more like Cheshire. And one thing about Diana, y'all, is the fact that she's always going to show off in a 1v1. Like Diana blocks Sai's first attack, then gives her an Android 18 knee to the gut before backhanding her in the neck. Doc cooked in three moves. Diana is the queen for a reason. Diana looks around and sees Vamp. This world's vixen charging at her in a lion form that looks a lot like Scar. I've said it a couple times that Diana is the queen but vixen is too. She needs to be put in more adaptations. Vamp pounces on Diana like a true lioness and this man Wally. He's just having a blast expanding Extruder Man's body. Not like that y'all by the way. Black Power. Umar Johnson shoots multiple lightning beams at the Chad Marsh Mariner, who evades them one by one like the 97 talent that he is. John invades all of Black Power's attacks and Power realizing this decides to channel his energy into two devices so he can pull out the crush technique on John. Bro's grin here is crazy, he really thought he packed up John to the afterlife hall. Power lets go of the devices and yeah, you're surprised aren't you? John appears behind Power and my guy is already in a silent takedown position, there's no coming back from this. Power looks back and damn, John really styled on him like Sasuke, this is foul work. John punches Power and is that blood? Everyone else has been taken down without any blood coming out of their bodies but for Black Power this happens, this ain't cool at all. Power flies away like a detached bird feather until he lands on the ground defeated. Wally continues making a shooter man's life a living hell by stretching his body out. Nearby we get the sensational 1v1 of Hal Jordan and Aurora, the evil version of Halo, a really obscure character that needs to come back by the way, as Aurora manifests a giant hand to grab Hal. Wally runs to the last Sonic mission checkpoint and ties up a shooter man. We must now talk about one of the most humiliating scenes in DC history as Wally ran back to this defeated man's waist to make a tomb out of it. Wally is known for being a disrespectful dude so him doing this here is not out of character for him at all. Wally looks at the glorious work he did to his op and honestly you gotta feel for his shooter man. His teammates at least got their licks in before they got packed up but for him he was doomed from the start. Wally poses like a G and cracks a joke about tuning up his opponent. Close by a lady performs the Vicky Guerrero excuse me line for Wally causing him to look at the direction and yeah Wally's done. This baddie is about to finish him. One tidbit about Wally y'all before the man settled down with Linda, the guy was a player, I'm talking about Tupac level player from the 90s so it's not surprising at all that Wally fell for this woman's trap. Model Citizen puts Wally under a spell and we pick back up with Diana who is still dealing with the Scar Lioness known as Vamp as she elbows her in the face causing her to roll down the pavement like that viral skateboard clip. Vamp catches her feet and runs up and oh yeah she's done. Diana is finally using her lasso, Diana throws her lasso leading Vamp to transform into a snake, those cold individuals and launches an attack on Diana's bracelet. That attack didn't do anything for Vamp so this lunatic lady decides to morph into a bear. This shocked Diana so much that she pulled out her signature Hera catchphrase, I don't blame her either. Diana picks up Vamp like a signature bodybuilder and my goodness yeah, say goodbye Vamp. Diana knees Vamp in the stomach and Diana has been rootless with these Dragon Ball Z knee strikes so far. Diana drops Vamp to the floor as she once again performs 
use those barrel rolls before transitioning back into her original form. Elsewhere, Aurora was getting ready to have Hal meet the Spectre again as she manifested scissors to cut this man up like a homework assignment. Hal was like, hold up, I've played this game before and generated a rock just before he was chopped up breaking the construct instantly. Aurora was flabbergasted, but it was too late for her as she received a ming to the face from Hal's construct, causing her to crash into a wall that dropped like Roxanne Perez. Crazy work. We pick back up to the humiliation ritual of Wally West as model citizen told the S-tier yapper that he doesn't want to fight her, he wants to help her, and Wally programmed like an OG Fortnite bot reiterates what a chick in front of him just said until he finally snapped out of the trance as Wally realized he may have been put under a Jedi mind trick. I know the Star Wars fans love this reference so much. Model citizen tells Wally's not like the Jedi mind trick at all and look at where her hand is. My guy folded again as soon as she did that. Not to mention her bazongas straight up vanished on Wally's chest too. My guy is beyond cooked. Wally reiterates Model Citizen's line and this lady, she knows what she's done. Model Citizen is bunked from behind by Wonder Woman and Diana looks so stunned that Wally got caught in something like this. Diana snaps her finger saving Wally from the mind control and yeah, Diana is not happy with Wally at all. She expects so much from him. Diana and Wally got like an older sister and younger brother relationship in the comics and for those that don't know, out of the three flashes, Diana has teamed with Wally the most, so that says something there too. Superman was still continuing his matchup with Superwoman and I'm like, Superman, you are the GOAT. Just finish off this sadistic woman already. Superman utilizes the little Mac KO punch on Superwoman to send her crashing into the ceiling of the complex and man, did Zeus fry her bad here. She got packed up along with all those rubbles. Owlman seeing that his queen was taken out launches an assault on Superman. Lex wakes up from his beating earlier and sees Owlman cooking Superman up until Superman blows his crazy ass away with his signature frost bread technique. Superwoman Woman gets up and calls for backup. Lex, like a bot, stands still long enough for Gypsy Woman, the evil version of Gypsy, to phase her hand through his chest. Gonna pack him up with an old reverse flash technique, huh? John pulls up and stops the evil lady from performing the diabolical fatality on Lex. Lex uses the opportunity to knock her out with his Hall of Fame beams. Lex then informs the League they'll have to retreat as Superwoman has called in for reinforcements, aka her family, the evil Marvel family, and yeah. She is not the evil Wonder Woman in this movie like a whole lot of people believe she is. It's actually another lady that Diana fights later in the movie. She is actually the evil version of Mary Marvel. So that's just wild in itself too. But this is like one of the best like fight scenes in any DC animated movie. And like I told y'all bruh, this is one of the best animated movies too. This was like loosely adapted from the amazing story and I recommend y'all checking this out too. I think it's called GLA Earth 2 by Grant Morrison and Frank Quitley and basically is kind of like the same premise as this movie Lex Luthor he needs help because you know the crime syndicate were like crazy in this movie but in the, in the comic series too they were like crazy dude like Superwoman is a straight up evil baddie in the comic bro like the stuff that she does to Jimmy Olsen and it's justified too because Jimmy Olsen in that comic he is he is a creep bro and he looks like one too bro it's crazy but anyways man this is also the comic book where that famous um scene of Cal Rain of Green Lantern Superman I think Wonder Woman 2 and Martian Manhunter are all pulling up outside of Lex Luthor's complex and they're like yo we just want to chat that's it's such a good comic but this animated movie was originally supposed to be in the DC animated universe so the same universe that brought us Static Shock, Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, Batman the Animated Series you know all the good stuff back then it was originally supposed to be a part of that universe but things changed you can see with the characters that they have in this movie like we still have Wally West as the Flash but Jon Stewart he got replaced by Hal Jordan because this was around the time where Hal Jordan made his triumphant return to the comic books but it was still great man but you guys let me know your thoughts on this movie man what do you what do y'all think about it man like this is one of my favorite movies man because of the fact that the Justice League roster was so sick you had Superman Batman Wonder Woman Wally West Flash Hal Jordan Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter, then you have Black Lightning, Black Canary, Jason Rush, Firestorm, Aquaman, Red Tornado 2 I believe. The roster was just too sick. Everything about this movie was so good bro. Like the 2010s man, they, 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 they did DC like good service when it came to animated movies. But if y'all enjoyed the video, consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel. The next video coming out will most likely be Elite Haters 2. That one will take some time, but it will come out also Certified Baddies 2. And I'll also be dropping another poll to see which videos you would like me to do next in the future. Yeah, with that said, I hope y'all can have a nice week and I'll catch y'all for the next video. Boro Army out.